Well, he's out at 9 o'clock. So, <clears throat> he might be filing here late at night and everything, so it don't disturb the people. We got six screws. Each screw's got four saws. So he's sharpening 12 saws every day to get, the, get it done, because there's two different saws for each crew. First thing he's going to do when he comes in is he's going to take the handles off the saws, or actually the Sawyers themselves are going to take the handles off, put them on their new saws and everything. He's going to take pure seed, and he's going to wipe the saw down, get all the pitch off it. He's going to use this gauge right here. And he's going to run that down very lightly over top of all the teeth to make sure everything is all the same height. And he has that done. He's going to take a file, and he's going to file each one of these teeth. He's got to file it this way, and then this way. Now on this link, take the saw up, turn it around, clamp it down back in his place, and do the other side. When he's done with that, you got to go check the set on every tooth. And that's this little tool right here. So what he does is he's going to run that up to the top of the tooth here. You hear it rocking. That means that tooth has to be set. He has to take this little tool right here then, and he's got to take and just bend them. And he's got to be careful doing it so that you don't break the tooth off. If he breaks the tooth off, he's either ruined that saw or still a little bit. So he's got to do that with each tooth, so you know it takes a long time to get the job done. And that's how he has his own quarters up here, because he might be doing this at midnight. It's very tedious sitting here. Mm -hmm. So quite a bit to go on that tooth to, to set it. So that's how he does that. So this is a crosscut saw, which is also this one here is a crosscut saw. That's what those guys are going to use for cutting them logs up there, and big logs and stuff. Each one of those crews are going to carry wedges like this, and they're going to drop them in behind the saw to keep the logs on Guys that are falling the trees, they're going to use this, it's called a ribbon saw. Now it's two different saws that he's got to sharpen each day, and this is a ribbon saw, and that's for falling the trees. It's a lot lighter, slightly, and then you pull that one on through the trees to get it done. And he also has that saw right there and that saw of ice right there behind you. That's called an ice saw. And he also has to keep that shot for the crews. And that crew's going to be working. I'll tell you about that a little bit outside there. On how that saw works and what that crew does. Anybody like to try out a crosscut saw? I got a lot of firewood to cut. Let's go outside. We'll see how it goes. Let me check see what saw I got.